Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have the long-awaited Marco Polo in our port to review today. Now, this is available right now for either 19,000 doubloons, 228,000 coal, or you do have a chance of getting her in the Italian battleship containers. Today, we have required her for coal, so this is entirely free ship for me for once for one of these reviews. But still, thank you to our awesome Patreons that support us every single month. If you wish to support the channel, that is the best place to do so right now. And this is the first time I'm really taking a look at this ship, and she's got a lot of really cool little detail on here. Her badge is right here. I wish I could zoom in closer on that. That looks pretty cool. Um, as always with Wargaming, especially with a lot of these more recent ships that they're putting out, the model looks fantastic. Lots of small detail on there. I love seeing all this stuff and just looking at all the little details and doodads and stuff on the ship. It's, again, a nice model, as always, from the art department, who, as we all know, have been carrying the game for some time now. But anyway, today we are going to go ahead and look at her and review her for you guys. This is my first impressions review. Have not played a single match in the ship just yet. Literally just got her in the port after updating the game. After the server is updated and after I got home. This is also 10.2, which means we're going to have the very, very beautiful graphics overhaul as well with us today. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the polo. Alright, so looking at her armor, first off, she has 32mm bow. That's, that's a big old bow, though. She sits up pretty high in the waterline, but uh, we'll take a closer look at her armor here. So 32mm bow, 130mm cheek plating there, very much like the Roma. 70mm upper belt, 320mm belt right there, 32mm stern, 32mm deck. 55mm deck, oh, that's very nice. That's a nice middle finger to HE. Um, turrets have a 410mm face, 220 top, 190 top rear, 150mm side plating, and her superstructure is 19mm. So let's take a look at her citadel. Her citadel, it is turtle back, but it is, yep, yeah, 25mm, so just like the Lepanto. You know, it's sloped and all right, and it's got that turtle back on top of it but if anything gets through this 320 millimeter belt which probably isn't all that hard if you're showing them broadside it's going right through that citadel it does sit pretty low on the waterline you see right there you can only really clip the top of it but it is still exposed above the waterline however cruisers like the um the petropavlovsk won't be able to citadel her because of that sloped armor so that's that part of it's nice all right so survivability, she has 69,100 hit points. A little light on the, on the hit points there for a tier 9 battleship. Most tier 9 battleships are 70,000 or above, but nothing terrible. 27% torpedo damage reduction with her torpedo protection. And of course, she has 9 406 16 inch guns with sap. Quite terrifying. And they are in three guns per turret, unlike the four gun per turret that we see from the Techline Tier 9, the, um, the Lepanto. So they reload in 36 seconds, have a 180 turn time of 36 seconds as well. Maximum dispersion 252 meters. The sap can pin 102 millimeters of armor, which means pretty much everything it can see. Uh, the sap does 14,100 hit points. Maximum damage, that's a lot. Uh, the AP does 13,050. She has a base range of 19 kilometers and a sap and AP shell velocity of 836 meters a second. So from what I've seen before, 16 inch sap is nasty. And there's a very good reason why the Italian battleships are stuck with 15 inch guns. Uh, her secondary, she has 12 of these 152 millimeter guns firing HE with 25 millimeters of pin, 7% chance of starting a fire, and a reload time of 12 seconds at a range of 7 kilometers. And then we have the plentiful 90mm secondaries that can't really do anything. They really struggle to even pin destroyers with only 15mm of pin. But they do have a range of 7km and a reload time of 4 seconds. And a 5% chance of starting a fire. Alright. AA, there's some there. Maneuverability maximum speed 32 knots. Turning circle radius 860 meters. And a rudder shift time of 16.7 seconds. So pretty standard maneuverability for a tier 9 battleship. The speed flag... Her maximum speed should probably be around 34 knots-ish. 
All right, in concealment, her detectability by sea is 16.3 kilometers. I'm sure we're going to get that down nice and low with the concealment build on this ship. For her equipment, she gets four standard heals that regenerate health at a rate of 345 hit points per second. They are active for 28 seconds, and then they reload in 80 seconds, so she gets four charges of that base. And we can get spotter or fighter, and it's probably wise to, sp to, to stick with spotter. And of course, she gets sap and AP. All righty then. I'm going to go ahead and slap a commander on here and module her out. I'll meet you guys right back here. All right, I've put my Lepanto slash Polo slash Venezia commander on to the Marco Polo. So we have preventive maintenance, gun feeder, MLG turrets, adrenaline rush, concealment, superintendent, well, emergency repair specialist, my bad. And Deadeye, of course. Now, of course, Deadeye is changing here. Supposedly, we're supposed to hear about that in the next couple of weeks, but until now, it's like, of course, the most in-meta build at higher tier. And for her modules, we went with uh, Main Armaments Mod 1, Damage Con 1, Aiming Systems Mod 1, Damage Con 2, Concealment, and of course, the Main Battery Mod 3. So, quick and reload time there. So now... She has a 31.7 second reload time, much, much, much better than 36 seconds. And now with the concealment skills applied, she has a detectability range of 13.2 kilometers. So this now gives us an 18, what is it? No, it's 19 kilometers, correct? It is a 19, yeah, 19 kilometer main battery firing range now. Um, of course, with the spotter plane, we can get that out a little bit further. And from, again, from what, from what I've seen with the ship, sap freaking hurts 16 inch sap really freaking hurts um what else do we need to check i think that's it oh yeah the turret traverse time because the module slows that down but we did take the captain skill to speed it up so 34.5 second turret traverse time still plenty fast by tier 9 standards all right i'm gonna go ahead and flag her out then i'll meet you guys in battle hey guys voice over mount batten here and i'm very 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 pleased with the marco polo it is a fantastic ship. I'm not too pleased with... Well, it's one or two things right now. Um, I'm getting some really bad weather right now. I'm not sure if that's affecting my internet. Um, I don't think it happens in the match you're watching now, but in the match after th after this, my ping was going from like where it normally sits at around 32 up to like 700 and staying there for a couple seconds then coming back down. So it's either the servers are overloaded right now because it's patch day with the uh, graphical overhauling and of course the addition of Marco Polo in Austin. So it, it might be that, but I, I think it's just my internet. So yeah, this is the only lag like, free match I had uh, this night. And then um, of course, after this, it was just like with yesterday's video, the matches were only lasting six or seven minutes, and um, I didn't really get a whole lot of time to do a whole lot of damage, although with the time that I had in the match, the Marco Polo performed very, very, very well. So, the biggest difference between the Marco Polo and the Techline Italian battleships is that, it, is that it does not have the exhaust smoke consumable. There are other changes too, but that is the biggest noticeable difference. And honestly, it does perfectly fine without it. I know that wasn't really a big deal for people anyway, but it does fine without it. The ship is really tanky, especially from bow on or angled. If you played Roma, it's pretty much the same there. You got that nice cheek plate that can bounce just about anything that gets thrown at you. And it's pretty darn maneuverable too. It really is just like an overgrown Roma with sap, but more accurate guns. Now, the guns, the 9 16 inch guns, how are they? They are more accurate than the 15 inch guns of the Lepanto and, well, the rest of the Italian battleship line. But it is. Uh, well, I, it, it's more accurate for sure. But since you're throwing less shells at the wall, I got really used to throwing 12 shells at targets with the Lepanto because of its 4 guns per turret. It does hurt when the shells miss now. And it is more accurate than the Italian battleships, but it's not the most accurate battleship out there. Now, of course, with Deadeye active, it does do pretty good, and you do get good salvos. I wouldn't say consistently, but a fair bit in the Marco Polo. But you, of course, still get the normal battleship salvos, where they go all over the place, and it just sucks that you only have nine guns. But it, it, it would be broken if it was any more accurate than, the, than what it currently is. Because, oh my god. These shells slap. 
in the matches I was having, I was finding that I was being screwed over by RNG, or I hadn't gotten used to the guns yet, and I was only hitting one or two shells on most of my salvos when I was adjusting to the velocity and the dispersion. But those one or two shells were doing like 8k, 9k hits. Good God, 16 inch sap is, 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 <laughs> it's good. It's real good. And then when I would hit, you know, most shells on the targets doing 14k, 15k, I did 22k to a, to a Colorado that was angled just because my, most of my sap shells hit a superstructure. God, it's, it's, it's terrifying. It is genuinely terrifying. Uh, cruisers too. I ran across, um, Austin. I slapped him for 15k, um, I believe in the match you're watching right now, I absolutely just bully the crap out of a rune who's stuck in a situation where he can't do anything to me. Um, yeah, just you, you just dump on cruisers and, and battleships with, with this sap. It is, it's a good thing that the battalion line has 15-inch guns. If it had 16, especially in the volume that it has, they would be hands down the best ships in the game, even with their accuracy, just with how good a ship like that would be if it had 16 inch guns like imagine the Columbo with 16 inch guns it, it, it would be terrifying so beyond the awesome guns the reload time 31 second reload time with the uh, module totally feels like a normal battleship um, if you did take the range module I don't know how that would really work out I mean a 36 second reload time on nine guns at tier 9 that's a bit rough um, but you would be hitting targets pretty decently at that range, especially with Deadeye, but again, like I mentioned at the start of the video, Deadeye is going to change according to Wargaming, so you can't really bank on that right now, and it will be interesting to see if they do maybe buff the Italian battleships, because they were probably designed with Deadeye in mind, so maybe, again, I guess we'll see, but yes, this is a really, 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 really solid battleship, really solid, and it's it's free, it's a coal ship, it's a coal ship that it, that is free. Now, also, of course, in the matches that I was having, like I said, I didn't manage to do a lot of damage. The match watching right now is my highest damage game of the night. 146,000 damage I did in this match watching right now. Um, but the other matches, I did 70k. The next match, that was a 6-minute match. Uh, 100k in the third match, and then 110k in the fourth match. Now, in all these matches, they were like, I think the fourth match went to like 12 minutes. But I was on the side where there wasn't a whole lot to shoot at. So I was having to do some cross-map sniping, and sometimes the shell connected, sometimes it didn't. It, it feels like a normal battleship in terms of accuracy. Like, if you can imagine um, Iowa before Deadeye, it feels about that. So it feels pretty good accuracy-wise, and being a battleship, and doing battleship things, it can do it quite well. Um, so it's solid overall. It's, again, a free ship. You can get it for coal, 228,000 coal. Uh, you can buy it outright for doubloons or through the premium shop. In the premium shop, it's seventy-seven dollars. For doubloons, it's nineteen thousand doubloons. And then you can potentially get it in the Italian battleships container, which I wouldn't recommend doing any of that. I would recommend you just save up your coal and get it for free. I, and I would get this ship before the Palmer. I would, because this ship's going to be in a lot. Well, if you do competitive stuff. I would say get the ship before the Palmer. This ship's a lot more competitive, and I imagine in Clan Wars tonight, it's going to be all over the place, and it'll probably get banned on the next set of bans because there's nothing you can do to, the, uh, to, to, to this. There's no way to minimize the damage coming in if you're in a cruiser. You're just going to get slapped with 16-inch sap. There's not a lot you can do about that, and that's why it's good. It's just a hammer. Now, of course, if you do get in a situation where you have like a bow-tanking battleship, that's a different situation because at that point your shell's going to be bouncing off of his bow and you won't be able to start a fire but you do only have a 19 kilometer range and if you do take the longer range you do have a 36 second reload time so yeah now it does set up high up uh, high up out the water so if you get caught broadside you're going to get punched really really hard and it's going to hurt and since you do have slightly less health than an average tier 9 battleship make sure you're watching that but overall guys i feel like this ship is definitely worth it it's a solid solid ship again i can't stress this enough 16 inch sap is absolutely nuts so if you got the coal go for it it's completely worth it again wouldn't spend money on it because it is so expensive if you, if you do choose to spend money on it you save up your coal get the ship 
especially with the coupon, you can bring the cost of this way down in terms of coal. And of course, like I've mentioned before, Wargaming is like almost handing out coal now, so it shouldn't take you too long to save up for the Marco Polo. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the review, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday, which is when this video should be coming out. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.